The latest storm hit Southern California. First responders are warning about the dangers of that fast-moving storm water. This after eight people had to be rescued from the San Gabriel River in Azusa Monday night. One person still remains unaccounted for tonight. With more, we're joined by Ruben Munoz of the Los Angeles County Fire Department. Uh, Ruben, thank you so much for all you do and for being with us tonight. Uh, you know, each time that there's a, a significant storm, there's always warnings that go out and just to warn that don't go in those storm drains you're going to get caught up there's those rushing waters does anyone go out there and perform advance notice to people who might be unhoused living in or near those areas well it's dependent upon the city uh where the wash or the flood wash is at located at i know for instance in azusa the other day the azusa the pd went out there and tried to give advance warning that they were going to have to open up the reservoir to let some of the water out. So they were trying to go out and get everybody out of that area. Unfortunately, not everybody got out, or I'm not sure if it was because they didn't hear, or they just uh, didn't pay attention to the message. So walk us through how dangerous this sort of river rescue can be, how dangerous it is for you guys. You know, going out on a rescue like that, a water rescue, it's uh, very intensive. We have to send one unit out to the location where they were last seen, so we can put in a marker there. Then we start sending uh, engines down, down river. So this takes a big area. It could be miles down the road. So if you hear something that goes in Azusa, we might have to go down a few miles uh, to set up a, a water rescue down there. Uh, the gentlemen, we're all prepared uh, for any time this is rainy season. We make sure we're ready to do a water rescue operation, but it's very intensive and it is dangerous because even our guys, we have to get close to the water's edge. Yeah, they're putting their lives on the risk, uh, at risk as well. So when we, we, we know that when a hurricane hits, there are evacuation orders or people are told you have to leave. You don't want to become part of the problem. We see that here with wildfires as well, mandatory evacuations. Is there some sort of that same uh, philosophy that should be put in place for storms like this? Well, you guys do a good job in getting the news out to the public about the storms coming up and that uh, they should be staying out of the washes. Uh, after that, it's up to the person to stay out of there. But is it? But does it also, like, because a lot of times for these hurricanes, they will say, um, we will not come rescue you if you don't leave. Like, you got to go now, and it, you're, it's up to you. I mean, does that ever happen? Because it seems like you all have to spend a lot of taxpayer money and risk your own lives for these situations when people don't leave. Well, that's our job. I mean, we signed up for this to protect the public. So, yes, whenever our public's in need, we will come out there and we will do our best uh, to help them out. Uh, we do help that the public will adhere to the message of staying out of the washes. Um, any message that the emergency public puts out there, I hope they pay attention to it and follow it. Well, you do the heroic work. We know you've been with the L.A. County uh, Fire Department for many years, so thank you, Ruben, Ruben Munoz. Uh, we appreciate you, and stay safe out there. Thank you, Marla. Thank you so much. Well.